Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on electronic signature integration. So in Acumatica we have the ability that allows you to integrate your eSign from either Adobe or DocuSign. So we're going to go through the DocuSign integration and show you how it works. So the first thing is, is we look for our eSign accounts and we create an account here to integrate with our DocuSign account. Now, if you have a corporate account where you have multiple users set up, you can create all of those users here. So the first thing is, is you give it an ID, you tell it what the provider type is. So again, we support DocuSign and Adobe Sign. That's the EchoSign product. You can decide whether this is an individual or a shared account. A shared account can be used by many different people where individual will get linked to the employee that you're signed in as. Then we would associate the username or the employee name here based on if it's an individual. Then the API URL is only necessary if you're using Adobe. But for DocuSign, you simply need your email and password. Again, if I change this to Adobe EchoSign, you can see the credentials information. It's looking for an API key client ID and a secret. If I refresh back to my account, you can see once again, DocuSign, it's an individual account. I'm associated with Maxwell Baker, and here's my credentials. Now there's some basic settings that come from DocuSign here. Turning this on gives you the ability to send reminders and delaying those reminders in so many days. And also, when does this electronic document expire if it doesn't get signed? So you have those options there. And again, if I change this to Adobe Echo Sign, notice the reminders, they're configured differently because it's Adobe. Now that we have this configured, we can click Connect to make sure that it tests properly. You'll get the green checkbox up here, if it is. If it doesn't test successfully, you'll see an error message right over the icon here. And the way this integration works out of the box is when we go to a document, let's say for example, a customer. We'll open up a customer, and with this customer, we notice there's no files attached. So we'll open up our file explorer and we'll drag and drop a file to attach to it. Now if we open up the file interface and we click edit, the file maintenance window opens up and we now have this option eSign. So if we click on this, this gives us the ability to take this particular file and this particular file version and send it to somebody for a signature. So let's say we want to send it to uh, me, for example, and we'll say um, sign up for beta. Attached. Attached is the beta form. Please review and sign. And notice Acumatica noting the customer profile. It pulls the email from the customer profile right there. And it allows you, just like DocuSign, it allows you to add as many people as you want. And some people can receive a copy and some people need to sign. Now I'm going to remove this and I'm going to add myself instead. And that I need to sign. And once again, while we could configure the defaults for the automatic reminders, here we have the ability to override those reminders and expirations for this particular document. So what we can do now is we could either save. This would give us the ability to come back later and send it later. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the send button. What Acumatica does is it brings up the DocuSign window, allowing us to place all the fields we need the end user or the recipient to enter in order to complete this form, get it signed, and get it back to me. So for example, the name and title, we might put the name here and maybe the title right here. And we can add a text box here. You could decide in DocuSign, for example, whether or not certain fields are required, whether or not they need to match certain types of data.
And of course, with check boxes, ordinarily, if there were certain validations, for example, I need to check at least one thing, then we could define that here by creating the checkbox group and selecting at least or at most, for example. So this is DocuSign. Again, Adobe EchoSign is going to handle this differently, so it's important to consult the instructions of DocuSign and EchoSign for how to configure these kinds of things. So we'll put the date that it's signed, and we'll put the signature field right here. Now once this is done and you've reviewed it completely, you can then hit the send button. Now because I'm sending this to myself, DocuSign has seen the notification and it's asking me if you want to sign it right now. I'm going to say sign later. And let's go back to Acumatica and let's take a look at our status right now. So if we hit the refresh button, you notice this says sent. There are also eSign Central and eSign Sync areas. So if we refresh those, you can see what documents you have out there and what the current statuses are. So you can go through this eSign Central screen, look at only your documents or look at all documents for every user in the company and get good visibility as to what's out there and its current status. You can even send a reminder to the recipient from here, assuming your reminders that you configured every so many days were insufficient. Now, if you'd like to get this automatically to update so you don't have to hit refresh and all that, what you can do is we also have an eSign sync screen. And the eSign sync screen allows you to process the ones you want to or process all, or you can schedule this to automatically update every so often. You can configure the frequency and get these documents back into Acumatica with the appropriate signatures or the rejections if they failed and they've hit their expiration dates. So now if we go back to DocuSign, you'll notice there's actions required. So if we click here, we can find the document that's being requested for us to sign. Again, I am the sender, but I'm also the recipient. This also shows up in my Outlook, so I would see it there as well. But in this case, I'll click the Sign button. And here's the document as I filled it out. I'll continue. So my name shows up, my title, I can put the time in there. I can check the boxes that are important to me and click the sign button and finish. If I go back here to eSign Sync, again my status is still sent. But if we process this or, or if my scheduler was running automatically, I would get the latest update here. But in this case, I'll say process all. And you can see that Acumatica has indicated that this document was signed already. If we go back to eSign Central, you can also see it here as well. And Acumatica gives you different pending and completed statuses, so you can look at these filters and see what's next. You can also create your own filters. So if we take a look at the existing filters, pending simply means the e-sign status is equal to created, delivered, sent, and whatnot, whereas completed means all of these different statuses. And you can create your own statuses. Maybe you want a bucket for yourself. So you can click new here and say source screen, and maybe that's customer. And now we have another filter. So that's it. That's electronic signature. This is a integration that is available. There's no cost to it. And while it has a lot of good functionality, it also can be built out to follow a specific workflow that matches your company. So if you're looking for additional information on this, if you're looking for some build outs, to follow your workflow, feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is here at the end of the video, and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, and have a great day.